to me it is a sad development that um, small businesses and small communities are having a hard time competing these days because it takes family-run businesses kind of out of the equation. It t it's very hard for families to keep their businesses going because a small, a small family that's trying to feed their family and trying to pay mortgages and pay bills, uh, they can't compete with these large, huge like warehouse stores that have everything that's produced you know, at very low prices, so therefore they can charge very low prices. I think small town culture in the United States is in danger of being lost. It's easy to hop on an interstate, go 85 miles an hour. You just kind of see on your periphery, you see things going by, but you don't really see a town. And you have to take time to drive those roads. And people, people don't have a lot of time to spend these days in our culture. And so I think what happens is that small towns increasingly are just kind of getting swept away and forgotten. It's kind of one of those things where people are missing as they go to hotels, as they travel around the country. It's, it's one of those things where I think people, people know they're missing something, they know something's not quite right, but they don't really realize what it is until they go into a place such as the Superior Hotel um, or visit more traditional places in small towns across America. In most places around the country now, you walk into most stores, as, as everything becomes more corporate and everything becomes more homogenized, you walk into these stores and you can be anywhere. The city, you walk, I mean, you walk into, I don't know, Wally World Mart or whatever they're called, and it doesn't matter what city you are, what state you are, where you're at in the country, you, you forget where you're at because they all look the same. There's nothing unique about them. To me, what's interesting and important about a place such as the Superior Hotel here in Grand Marais is that it's a reminder of what was always so unique about this country. A great reminder of what was always so unique about this country and the culture of this country is the Superior Hotel. After all, it's been in the same family for generations. came to the hotel either for penny candy, their newspaper, um, the tourist people would come in and get ice cream cones and, and pop. Anybody that stayed upstairs renting the rooms, uh, there weren't TVs in any of the rooms so they always came down and we got to know all the, the people that stayed there. Back when I was in high school, it seemed like it was the pulse of the town. I mean, everybody came in there, got their newspaper and everything. My grandmother and mother used to hang their sheets on the clotheslines outside to let them dry. And there was never a better night's sleep. And people swear by sleeping in the sheets at the Superior Hotel that, that uh, it's the best sleep on the planet. Just little things like that that uh, made that place just a little bit more special. When you walk into a place like the Superior Hotel, you know that you're in the Superior Hotel in Grand Marie, Michigan. You're never going to tell people again about the Holiday Inn you stayed at in Fargo, North Dakota. But if you stay at a, when you stay at a place like the Superior Hotel, you're going to, that's a story because it's unique. Will Grand Marais be here in 50 years? Yes. Is it going to be a lot different than it is now? Yes.